Danny, as if the upper city, the upper level of Herodium weren't majestic enough, we also have a lower city here. What do we have here? Well, right behind us is a full complex of a bathhouse. This dome structure was the, the sweat room. As if it's not hot enough here today, you can actually go in here 2,000 years ago, you could, and sweat. It's an ancient sauna. It's an ancient sauna. Next to it, you have some uh, cold water pools to relieve yourself. And there's a big outdoor swimming pool here in the back with a little artificial island in the middle. Wow. Okay, and all of this had a colonnaded uh, pedestrian pathway around it. This was really nice and royal, almost as nice as the upper city. Yeah, this is beautiful. I mean, again, Danny, very well-preserved remains. Look at this dome, look at these pillars. And again, Herod with the flair for the dramatic, the great builder with the, the swimming pool here, with the artificial tower in the middle of it. You definitely see the extravagance here. Yeah. But this was uncovered not in order to find another bathhouse. We have enough bathhouses from Roman times. This was exposed in the 1970s and 80s for one reason trying to find the tomb of Herod. We know from Josephus that Herod was buried at the site of Herodium. He just doesn't say exactly where. So both the Franciscans were looking for his tomb on the Acropolis. Yeah. Professor Netzer, my teacher of the Hebrew University, spent 40 years of his life. 40? 40. 40, yes. From, from the 70s and until, you know, the early 21st century, thinking the tomb might be here. If it ain't there and if it ain't here, where else can it yeah. be? And it wasn't found in both places. Eventually, in 2007, a royal tomb was found on the corner of the Acropolis, halfway in between. This was a big sensation at the time of the discovery. I personally joined in and exposed one of the corners of that tomb. Wow. A, big, a special exhibition at the Israel Museum followed. This was a big sensation at the time, but not everyone is certain that this is actually Herod's tomb. This was found completely looted and, and trashed to pieces. And compared to Herod's scale, it's actually humble. Okay, so maybe it is his tomb after all, and he developed a humble character in his last year, which I don't believe. Yeah. Or maybe it's still hiding somewhere. Maybe he's still hiding someplace among these rocks and ruins where we're standing. The mystery may remain. Totally. So Herodium is still waiting for more research that may reveal amazing more secrets in the site. By the way, I'm really honored to come on your show again and again. People now reach me because of the show, asking me to show them around. Oh, Danny, this is great. It is an honor and a pleasure uh, to have you with us here as a watchman, contributor, a frequent guest and guide on this show. And if folks, he's the best there is. Danny the Digger, and we are privileged here on The Watchman Show to have him with us on a regular basis. Danny, it was great having you with us today here at Herodium, a place that's near and dear to your heart where you've done a lot of great work. Totally. And who knows, thank maybe you, we'll thank you, my friend. Maybe we will be back here to discover some new mysteries at this amazing site. Danny the Digger Herman. Toda ah. <laughs> Raba, my friend. Yes, and folks, when I think of King Herod and his legacy, I think of Second Chronicles, which says the eyes of the Lord scan to and fro throughout the entire world looking for those whose hearts are committed to him. Well, that wasn't King Herod. His heart was not committed to the Lord, but a king came after Herod, who Herod tried to snuff out literally in the womb, whose heart was committed to the Lord. His name was Jesus. So it was interesting to have this fascinating take through the time of Jesus today and beyond here at Herodian. We're bringing you these stories every week here on The Watchman that you just won't see anywhere else. So thanks for joining us on yet another adventure here in the land of Israel at Herodian. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace.